everyone, it's Lisa here, and I'm going to show you how to de-seed a pomegranate and make fresh pomegranate juice. First, cut off the part of the pomegranate that looks like a crown. I like angling my knife downward when cutting a circle around the crown. There we go, just pop the top off. Now, I'll usually score the fruit four times just because I like breaking open the pomegranate into four sections and ripping out those arrows from there, but it doesn't really matter how many times you cut along the fruit. Don't worry about cutting too deeply into the fruit. Some juice might come out, but the arrows will still stay intact. There we go. Look at those beautiful ruby arrows. I'm just going to break this up into chunks so that they're easier to manage later. I usually break off the arrows from the pomegranate inside a bowl of cool water. Breaking apart those arrows underwater helps prevent the juice from squirting everywhere. All right, we're nearly there. Now I'll remove any big chunks of membrane that's still floating in the water or stuck onto a clump of arrows. I'll also go through and pick out any discolored arrows. These orange ones, they're no good. Let's toss those. And there we have it. A beautifully de-seeded pomegranate. To make the juice, pour the pomegranate arrows into a blender. You'll need about five to six large pomegranates to make four cups of juice. Next, pour the juice through a strainer to strain out the pulp and seeds. You'll notice that the juice passes through pretty slowly, so what I like to do is use a rubber spatula and press the pulp and seeds against the strainer to force the juice to come out quicker. This process takes about a minute or two. When you have nothing but pulp left above the strainer, you're done. And there you have it, fresh pomegranate juice. Enjoy!